Good morning, Keepers, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where in today's episode, I firmly hope to be able to check out the dungeon. It's been a long time coming, that one. Uh, do I have anything I can drop off here? Not particularly, no. I guess I could leave the rope in here, I suppose. Well, no, no, there's no, there's no reason to do that. Let's uh, focus on some other things instead. First, and indeed foremost, we're going to drop off the wooden items here, well, actually, no, we're taking that with us to uh, build another pyre, I would say. We can drop off the story, though. We don't need that with us. Let's uh, drop off the nails as well. Anything else I need? Well, actually, let's get a couple of things sorted there. There we go. I still keep glancing at the teleport stone in my inventory. I, I just sort of feel like it has no real place in here. Uh, I mean, I guess there's alchemy and all kinds of, of stuff like that, but I just sort of feel that the teleport stone seems really, really out of place with, with our overall equipment set. Uh, I, I'm not really sure why that's there. Well, I, I'm actually, I, I tell a lie. I'm fairly certain I know why it's there. And that is a lot of people were very, uh, very unhappy with the overall way that, uh, that the game worked in terms of moving around. But still, I feel it, it's kind of a clumsy way of solving the problem. Uh, right, let's uh, grab some plants. We don't really mind too much using our time up this morning like this, because in the evening, we're going to go and see Snake, hopefully. And actually make some progress towards the quest down below in the dungeon. It's going to be grand, I tell you, grand. Uh, let's drop all of these off for now. Drop the crop waste as well. There we go. I haven't got many... Uh, much room I am interested. Let's drop that off. We've been carrying around that for, for days. Days. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me silly questions. I have no cl clue why. However, someone in the comments recently suggested that if we over-fertilize a plot of land, we'll get more seeds back from it. Now that is actually very, very interesting. Uh, they've had, uh, in their playthrough, uh, by simply putting down a lot more fertilizer, they, although they don't have better quality fertilizer, they were still able to generate um, more uh, more seeds. So we're going to try that. I'm going to set up a little area as a test over here. And we're going to plant only one type of crop over there, but we're going to double or maybe even triple fertilize the fields. We'll see, because that, I mean, it is, uh, you are investing a lot into that in order to get it to work, so... We'll have to check that out, but uh, it would be pretty cool if that did, in fact, work that way. All right, so let's get this done. We'll also get the uh, all of the crop waste going, because we're going to need this peat. If we're going to be over-fertilizing the tiles, then we're going to need quite a lot of peat. All right, okay. So, first and foremost, let's get the peat down. So, one, and we do it again. Two, three. All right, we'll pop three down. And we'll do that on all of them. One, two, three, and one, two, and three over here as well. Now, we need to just use one particular type of seed here so that I, I know exactly how many we ended up with. I've got enough beets that I could do it. Oh, I, uh, shh, go away. Stupid windows! Ugh. Never trust windows. Never trust it. Right, there we go. So we're going to plant the beets down here because I know I don't have enough for... Well, I've got... How much have I got left? I've got a tiny amount. I've got two beets left. We started with 14, I believe. So if we end with more than 14, then we know that it works as uh, as suggested. And that would actually be pretty awesome, I must say. Uh, right, anything else we want to do here? No, I think we're good. We'll just drop all of these crops off in the house on our way past. Let's go and take care of that. Womp. There we are. We're not going to be able to fit all of these in there, we know. Not even close. That's fine. Should still be able to go and speak with Snake, but I do need to uh, start taking care of all of that where I can. In fact, I'll drop these off there as well. Now, uh, I don't, strictly speaking, need my... Uh need my weapons with me either. Hello, Snake. Give him the key. Yes. Here's the key. 
Thank you very much for the story. At last, one step closer. Okay, you go first. I'll see who's worthless. I'll wipe those smug looks off their faces. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about all of them. Everybody who lives in the cursed town, and everybody who thinks they're better than me. Just because I... Just because they have everything and I have nothing. But soon, I'll have everything. Whatever. Oh, I think I see what I'm looking for. <laughs> you have died. I live again. Oh, what just happened? It seems like I'm alive and back home. Under the circumstances, I'm not sure that's good news. I need to go back and get that diary. Off I go. Right, so that is uh, that is the trick to that area. We have to go in there and die. Thankfully, that disarms the trap completely. Uh, double thankfully, we appear to be immortal. There's my bones. Well, drat. Wow, just... Wow. How did you do it? I don't know, I just went back to my hut. Great. I should be used to it. Life gives me lemons all the time. You're such a useless idiot, and yet you're immortal. That's totally not fair. I hate you. Pardon me? I hate you! Let me write this down. Graveyard Keeper. Can't die. Hmm. Actually, I could use your help. Now that your immortal ass is here, I've decided that I don't want to die in this dungeon. What dungeon? Right up there. It was here even before the church, and nobody knows how deep it goes. The first Inquisitors fought something down there before the ancient contract. How can I help? I have my sources, so I always know where to find what I need. At this point in my plan for retribution, a lot of things I need are in that dungeon. First, I need a bucket of blood. And five bloody nails. You should be able to find them on one of the first levels, where the pagans were tortured. That doesn't sound good. Uh, sacrifice zone. What? Okay, that's very interesting. My corpse! There we are. I've got the Keeper's Diary. Hooray! Can I use this in any way? No, but I can give it to my good friend, the Astrologer. I can build things here? I can drop things down as well? Oh, this is quite good. This is new, I think. Yoink! Can I go in there? Let's get it close. Looks like I'll need a key to it. I've got a key. Oh, drat. I need a different key, apparently. All these different keys, most vexing. What have we got down here? We have got... Aha! Some seeds. Well, I can just find random seeds and things now? Can I destroy those now? Hmm... Okay. That's particularly good. But there is something I can build here. Now, this is brand new. Skulls on the wall. Five skulls. Skulls in the column. Five sc oh. Um. Dark design desk. Uh... Huh. I'll uh, be back soon. Select the dungeon level. I can only go to dungeon level one. Now, previously, we've only been able to go to like dungeon level. Oh. Can I really not? Oh, there we are. We've only been able to go to dungeon level like five, I think. And then we could go no further. Oh, this is glorious. So many awesome things down here. Aha! More seeds. I like it. Now, in this place, as long as you get down to a dungeon level, you can come back there, I believe. But you have to have killed everything in the area in order to do that. You can't move around, you can't progress until you've killed all of the things nearby. I'm running out of stamina. Rather sharpish at that. There we go. Thankfully, I've got plenty of bread. We may not clear this level based on the food that I've got. I might have to just come down here only when I've got uh, food. Wow. Okay. I just get ceramic pots too. This is crazy sauce. Um, I didn't need that story really. Let's see. One, two, three. There we go. Now I've got the ceramic pot. I mean, if nothing else, I can just keep popping down here and stocking up on all the crazy things that I can find. Also, it's a source of bat wings, which means it's a source of paper. And also slimes. Which means it's a source of very many things. 
take you out as well. Some more spare parts. Hello. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. Hurt you more, of course, but still. I care about myself more, so your pain matters less to me. More wondrous things. And more and more seeds. Wow. That's actually really, really good. That is fantastically good, in fact. But I'm going to have to be very careful that my beet seeds that I'm picking up here, if I'm picking up any, yeah, aren't going to throw off my uh, observation on whether the multi-fertilizer um, trick works or not. We'll have to see. What did I just discover there? I don't know. Nevertheless, onwards and upwards we shall go. Hello. Are you coming over here? Ouch. Yes, you were. And I completely blocked it. And then you... I need to conserve my energy a bit. One. I say as I swing wildly. I'll stop with that follow-through, my lord. Got anything over here I can investigate? We've got all sorts of helmets that I wouldn't mind uh, taking apart. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Have I got anything I can eat? I have not. So, this is a... Kind of rubbish little journey. Uh, no, I can't. That's a shame. Okay, then. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, come on, donkey's there. Damn dragon blast, and I've got, like, no energy. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Aha! Use! What? No, use! Ah, poop. All right. Well, let's head down. With the looks. They always look like they're heading down. Uh, that's curious. But okay. Got some pots in there I need to smash as well. Alright, but first, we need to go and take care of Comrade Donkey. I would have preferred if just not having the um, teleport stone and we could just move around a little bit more. Um, using, like, getting to the town easier would be because we've built this little area. I think that would have actually been quite cool. Uh, I don't think I want to take up with me. I want to take these with me, I think. I'm not sure I should really be gathering skulls for this. And yet, it's a part of me that wants to know what happens when I do. I feel I may be about to be a scallywag. Uh, let's see, can I drop anything off in here? Yes, I should be able to. Okay, cleaning up my inventory a bit. We went in there a little bit unprepared. Just a tad bit unprepared. Oh, enough flitch and sticks to do quite a lot of things now, actually. Not bad. Uh, let's go and drop off all of these. Also pick up all of the peat that we've got here and uh, have some more peat as well while we're here. There we go. All right, not too bad. Let's uh, drop all of this in here, though. Now we can get to work on other things. There we are. Oh, I didn't drop off the slime. That was a bit silly of me. Uh, we ended up with quite a few maggots from all of that peat. Not bad. Alright. First and foremost then, let's uh, get all of this sorted. We'll keep some of the peat on me. And down here as well. I want to get as much crafting done as I can. I. The odd thing is, I'm drawing out of this even though I've got it on me. I would have thought it would be the other way around, honestly. But uh, that's fine, I suppose. Alright, do we have wheat seeds? We've got a couple. We've got enough for four. I'll do. Let's get those going. This one as well, thank you. Alright, now make sure all of this is fertilized. We'll only do one layer of fertilizer around here, just so that we can see what happens. Alright, so we want... Uh, we could go with... Sure, one hamper there. And then it'll create a nice pattern. A beautiful pattern, no less. Marvellous. It's like yin yang around a center point of hemp. How glorious. I approve. Accidental symmetry is always, always welcome. Let's get that done. There we are. And this will all be carrots. So let's start planting those now. Though, honestly, I've got so many carrots now, I just don't know what to do with it. Uh, I, well, I mean, I do know what to do with it. We'll just sell lots of them or give them to Comrade Donkey, but... 
And it just occurred to me that I'm doing all of this when I should be getting, uh, getting that, uh, I've got nothing to drop off. I should be, uh, getting some, the corpse dealt with. Well, bit of a, bit of a, a, a scoundrel, I guess. My bad. I'm so sorry, corpse. 89%. Okay, you're definitely going on the funeral pyre then. Ah, uh, well, let's look at some useful bits. Oh, no. There's another corpse in here. Oh, poop. Okay, well, we can, we can, we can work with this. I think, I think it's fair to say we'll be able to do that. Uh, I am going to need to sleep, though, before I can gather up any more energy, just because I'm not going to be able to cook anything right now. Unless I've got something just there that I can already prepare. I mean, the fish would be okay. I, make, I can make loads of carrot cutlets. Yeah, I can really make loads of carrot cutlets, actually. Oh my lord, I can make so many carrot cutlets. All right, third of the carrots, go. Begin your work. I approve. And I'm just gonna turn in for the night, or rather, the day. Now, this is really gonna show us whether sleeping in the day makes a difference. It kind of doesn't, actually. Surprisingly. Okay, we'll wake up at this point. There's no point in being in bed any longer than that. Right, well, we've got stupid amounts of carrot cutlets. Uh, I'm going to use those in place of berries then, because realistically, we're always going to have enough. We're going to always have so many ber berries that we are going to just constantly want to... Uh, uh, sorry, um, carrots that we're going to constantly want to be using those. Uh, bring these with. Um, well, we don't have... No, I'll leave these here until we've got the uh, table in the morgue to store these, and that's where they will live from that point on, except for the things that we've already looked into, which we could, I guess, move into the graveyard. Uh, see, blood and, and fat, we are constantly going to be drawing out. Just, just as a natural part of our job, we're going to be doing that. So I feel less bad about using those for things than I do about using uh, anything. Oh, I'm going to have to leave this on there. But uh, than I feel about using uh, flesh, for example, or skin. Because I'm taking that out specifically to do curious and possibly immoral things with. Uh, so... Whereas the blood and, and, and fat, I, I just have to gather that out as part of my job. Part of being a keeper involves taking out the uh, soft parts of the body before we bury them. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's have a look then. Have a look at you. Yeah, you needed to be turned into a, a uh, funeral pyre. Grab this. Yeah, you started to rot on the on the bench. So it did happen. We'll probably have to do much the same with you, which means we need more trees, unfortunately. Drop these off. Uh, I'm going to need all these parts, too, as it happens. All right, let's get you going right about there. I'm going to need to get another four of those. We'll get everything sorted, little by little. It is It is my job, after all. There we go. And I'll transfer all of this back to the uh, to the house, I think. There we are. I could chop you down. Need those logs. I don't really need the logs. Realistically speaking, we've got loads. But still, I'll bring them along anyway. There we are. And just need to get you onto the path so I can run you back up. All of the stuff over there. Very, very nice. Alright, there we go. Now, what we're not going to be doing is heading down into the dungeon today. That is very much something for tomorrow, not today. I'm going to gobble down these carrot cutlets. Marvellous. Oh, I should have just stacked that up, actually. My bad. Let's stack up a couple. We're going to want plenty of these because I've got a feeling that we are going to be doing quite a lot of uh, cremating for a little while. Uh, tis sad, I know, but there we are. There we are. Uh, can't get you just yet. Now, about armor. Okay, I'm gonna need... Hmm. To make a better sword, I just need one iron ingot and two after complex parts. 
Have I got... Oh, I, I need pigskin. Oh, no. I actually need pigskin paper for this. Well, then. I guess that is a thing that is going to transpire. Uh, I don't feel particularly good about that one, but uh, okay. Let's get a bunch of firewood. Sure. More cat cutlets. We should be able to just uh, use our teleport stone to jump over to the dead horse and then on towards the um, astrologer. That being said, I would like to see how fast we could make it just by walking using the underground tunnel. I think that'll, be, that'll work fine. There we go. And some of these are going to be coming up with me into the house. All right, let's uh, pop 40 fuel there and make three iron out of all of the scrap iron that we've got. Oh my lord! So much! Drop off some firewood? No, we can't drop off any firewood. We can drop off some mushrooms though, which is always nice. Uh, oh my goodness. Let's go and deal with this other corpse though first. I can't believe how many kettles we've got. That's just, that is just bonkers. Okay, maybe we don't need to worry too much about uh, having loads of carrots. They, they do come in handy as it happens. Alright, let's uh, get another one of these set up. I'll have to drop something off. I imagine that the amount of carrot cutlers we've got is probably taking up two. No, it isn't actually taking up two. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I <laughs> Damn it. I, I see that I should have left these there all along. How annoying. Oh, well. We're going to go and grab some more blood in a moment. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're not going to do everything I wanted to do in the order that I wanted to do it. Not today. We're just going to have to make a run for it. I drop all of this stuff off that I don't need on me right now in here. That'll do. I want the keeper's diary. Uh, I don't think I need the keeper's key. So we'll just make a, a run down here and see how far we can get. Now it is dawn, so this is a good indicator. Because usually it would take us a fair bit of time to get over there normally by having to run through the graveyard and then along the road. And so, if this cuts off a significant portion, if we're there by midday, then this is a much, much faster solution. And I'm not sure that having the teleporting stone really makes sense. It, again, it kind of feels like a lazy way to solve a problem. Um, I would prefer to be given a way to run that uses up energy, because then it feels like I'm paying for it, rather than kind of a cheesy, yeah, two silver, now I can teleport everywhere. I, I don't know how. Um, surely the Inquisitor would probably think this is witchcraft and burn me at the stake, but we're, we're, you know, we're just letting it slide for now. Yeah, we're actually going to get there before midday. That is very impressive. Also, we will chop down that tree so that it grows into a beautiful, beautiful apple tree. I'll be extremely happy with that. Uh, we've also got a lot of stuff down there I need to check out. Hello, here's the diary. Great, great. How many important things there must be in this book? Amazing. I haven't felt so alive for a long time. So how can I open the portal on which hill? Let me see. You need to craft a spirit laser, but I don't know what a laser is. Sorry. It should be crafted on the pedestal in front of the portal. Hmm. You need to craft it in two parts, an emitter and a barrel. And here we have three parts of the emitter. A mirror of pride, an eternal burning coal, and a salty fork. Okay, so that'll be the mirror of pride that the bishop has under their hat. The eternal burning coal, I'm going to assume, is something to do with the inquisitor, and the salty fork, probably the trader. What about the second part? The second part of the book's text is covered with something sticky. I'll need to clean it off first. I think I'll need some acid and restoration tools to clean it. Get some acid to read the second part of the drying and get restoration tools to read it. Where can I find all of that stuff that you mentioned earlier? He wrote that his friends believed that all these things could be found in the town. Hmm, I don't understand this, but he wrote that they were the, they were the souls of the town. It all sounds like a delusion to me. Magic. <laughs> 
What nonsense? If I were you, I'd start with something you can see. First, I'd check the pedestal near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. See, the sad part about that is it really, from what I've heard, it, again, it feels like something that was rushed, perhaps. But we'll see. Uh, all right, well, about the acid. Do you know where I can find any acid? I gave up alchemy many years ago. It's really a dead-end occupation, but I think I know where you can get some acid. I gave up alchemy and get some acid and such. Uh, okay. Do you know where I can find some restoration tools? There were many. Uh, there we may have a problem, young man. The Inquisition destroyed them. Fools. They believe that the past can only bring harm and curses. But I think you might still be able to find some on the black market. Somebody with criminal connections could help you. Oh, I know who that'll be. I definitely know the right guy. I should talk to Snake. Okay, well, uh, fair enough. Uh, have you got anything I could trade for? No, not really. I mean, I could sell some stuff to uh, to our good friend Haradric. Have I got? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I'll, I'll do that on the way back. First, glorious, glorious apples. Give me your gloriousness. I need to put you in a pie. I'm not actually going to put you in a pie. Not yet, anyway. I wish I could, though. Uh, right, are you going to have anything? No. But you... Donk. And let's dig this up as well. There we are. It seems that we may be good with the... Uh, carrot cutlets for a long time. Especially given how quickly we gather them. I might buy more carrot seeds on the way, actually. Just because, again, super easy to make. Super duper easy to make. I could gather you, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to carry on my way. Actually, I'm going to go to Haradric first, but then I'm going to for science this teleport stone and see if I can do it whilst I'm carrying something like a log. Because if it can, then I suspect that that would... Uh, I've had quite a few people saying that they've moved the coal and the iron further away. Well, that might be one way that you could solve that problem using the teleport stone. All right, let's have a quick chat. Hello, I would like to trade for this with you. Thank you. Ooh, nine for that. Hmm. Sure, that's what's happened. There we are. Thank you. We're almost up to tier two now. Hello, Miss Chain. You better talk with my husband. He's in charge here. Can I trade with you? Uh, a little bit too, uh, too expensive there. Uh, well, maybe I could take pies, though. I could take sweet baking as well. Uh, pies will do for now. Thank you. Let's quickly learn to make pies. Uh, berry pie and grape pie. Marvelous. Though on that note, just as well I didn't sell it all, because I need to get myself some milk. Let's go and speak with the dairy farmer. Hello. I would like to buy jugs of milk. Only the jugs this time though. Sure, I'll actually buy all ten. Thank you very much. Bye. Now we need to use this and see if it works. Use. No. Use. Uh, sweet home. Ah, oh, it does work. How extremely useful, but very cheesy. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, let's grab all of this wondrous stuff. Uh, drop off the... No, oh, we can't drop off the milk. That is... Less than wondrous. I guess the bucket of milk is going to have to go somewhere else for now. I would say. But let's quickly make... Oh, we can't. Uh, okay, first, 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 first. Before we get distracted, let's go and deal with the corpse. Let's not forget what our actual job is. We are not a baker. We are a graveyard keeper. That means we should keep the graveyard as the primary thing that we do every day. Ah. Uh, well. Mm, brain it is. Let's go. If you take off the skin, you always ruin the corpse in some way. Okay, that worked. That has worked. Let's get you made a little better, shall we? There we are. And the fat as well. And you will be a burialable corpse. There you go. You don't even need to put a, be put on the funeral pyre. I mean, unless you wanted to. In which case, you should have told me. 
You should you should have had that written somewhere, like a little card that you carry around. Want the Viking funeral? I, I mean, if that were the case, I would 100% acquiesce to your your wishes on this matter. But since you're just a nameless corpse that gets dropped off at my morgue, you get buried. Sorry, sorry. I well, I yeah, I am sorry. I I was almost gonna say sorry, not sorry, but I am a little bit. Or if you did really, 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 really want a Viking funeral. Less. Doesn't get what it wants. Right, let's take this body. It would otherwise have been a really nice body. It's a real shame. That would have been a glorious one if only we'd gotten there a little bit sooner. Alright, well, extracting the skull from you. Yoink. I do need pig skin as well, so. Yoink, I guess. Uh, need some noms. And at this point, should we take a little bit of everything? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> We're going to completely clean you up before we, we send you to the next place. Uh, oh, I think I made a bit of a surgical mistake there. Bit of a shame. Uh, take out the brain. Take out the meat. Oh, I'm going to need to sleep. Then finally, take out the blood and the fat. And ironically, at the end of that... Oh no, we're not being left with a thing with two white skulls. I was going to say, that, that would actually be quite impressive. It's just a regular body. Okay, well, those things can just sit there for now. We'll go and get you on a few more pyre. Womp. There we go. Can we drop some more of these things off down here? We can. For the time being, I guess they're going to have to live there. Because I have got way too much stuff I need to cart around right now. Ah, are they ready? They probably are, actually. We'll check that out in a little bit. But right now, what I would desperately like is to make some advanced parts, too. Well, actually, no. I, I just need two, so let's work on that instead. I then need some rope. Where did I put the rope? Did I pop it in down here? I may have. This is the problem. Now I don't know where I put my rope. Oh, scallywags. Hmm. All right, well, not a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, let's get all of the fuel in the fire so that we don't have to worry about it for a very, very, very long time. There we go. And now make all of the carrot cutlets you can. Every single one that you can make, make it for me. There we go. Please and thank you. We need a little snooze. A pre-sermon snooze is in order. We don't need to actually wait there very long. We just need a bit of a top-up is all we needed. Um, do we have... Yeah, there we are. We can see what's in the other chest by just having a look there. Perfect. All right, let's get this outside so we can make that sword. There we go. Yes, please. It's going to be a fine weapon. Truly. Yep. Perfect. Now we can drop off the rusty sword at this point. Uh, we can drop off the rusty hammer as well if we're not going to use it. And I'll leave the uh, pail of milk away. Don't take the need to take that where we're going to go. Uh, I do have a couple of items that I want to drop off in the box down yonder. But before we do... Have we got bat wings? Yes, we do. Okay, I need to go and grab those as well. In fact, there's a lot of things over here that I need to move. So let's grab those out of here. There we are. I think that should do okay. And I believe there is a few things I want to move in there from here. Yeah, ah, I can't. I'll just shuffle them around a little bit. Just so that we've got everything in its correct place. I guess I'll take the water in here as well. And I'll allow me to pick up some more carrot cutlets as I go. And we can drop off all of the bowls there. Alright, I think that is mostly everything we need stored there. Have I... I'll drop that off in there. There we go. Right, we do need to go and get this sermon done now. That is actually a fairly high priority. So let's go and uh, crack on with that, I would say. 
we should be good. I'm not sure how many more carrots I have left for Comrade Donkey, but we'll see. Hello there, I will eventually get all of the things you need. It'll, it'll be a thing that happens. Oh no. Ugh. Oh wait, 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 did I put it down here? I did not, but did I stick it in the uh, chest outside? Please tell me I did, because I'm actually running out of time now. Please tell me I was sensible. Yes, I was sensible. How marvelous. How rare. How fantastically uncommon. I suspect witchcraft, actually. Okay. Also, I'm putting this 100% down to the fact I'm really full up with a cold. I imagine you can hear in my voice. I uh, That's probably why we're only going to get one episode of this today. Just because it is actually really, really hard for me to record whilst my nose is running. I'm trying not to sniffle or, or make it too apparent, but this is... Not exactly the the happiest experience of my life. All right, let us pray for this blessing. Indeed, let it, let's do that. Your donations are, of course, welcome. And by welcome, once again, we mean obligatory. Thank you very much. Let's go and grab all of that money. There we go. One silver and thirty. Oh, really, Comrade Donkey? I am so busy. I'm busy up to my eyeballs. And that's impressive, because I've got, like, mucus up to my eyeballs. So I'm, I've, I've got busy mucus up to my eyeballs. This is not a good look for me. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I will do my best to make good with this corpse. Right, we're going to go for the brain this time. Uh, as with pretty much every time. Look, if, if sin is going to be anywhere, it's going to be in the bread. Oh, wow. We were bang on the money there. Well done, us. There we go. Um, We could afford to take something else out, but we're not going to. We're just going to take the fat out and make this an even better body than normal. And eat some of these uh, cutlets. Thank you. This is a very, very good body. My goodness. My goodness. Such a good body. And we'll get you over here and talk to it like it's a dog. Oh, you're a good body. You're gonna go in the best grave. Uh, nope, nope, wrong, wrong. Didn't mean to interact with the grave. There we are. This one should. Yeah, it does. It gives me a little bonus as well. How marvelous. How truly, truly delightful. Right. We can then drop this off. At, well, actually, no. We can take this down downstairs with us at this point. I've still got that pail of milk on me. No. Why? Ah, uh, cold brain. Right, let's get you done. I I hate myself. I, I do. Uh, oh well. Let's get this sorted then. And then get one more of these done as well. I need some fat and some beeswax to be able to make my own candles. Which would be grand if I could. Right. Let's do a little bit of study then. What do we wish to study? You know what? Let's study the... Well, no. No, no, no. Let's focus on things that I can study for... For example, the brain, which I've been carting around for a long time. And I want to know how it works. There we are. I can decompose it into fluid. Wow, that was worth it. Uh, next up, we'll study... No, we won't study hemp, apparently. That's extremely expensive. We will, however, study the rope. Hemp rope. And anything else we can study easily? Sure. Study you. There we go. Doink. Perfect. Marvellous. Right. I would like to turn... The... Oh! No, it is pigskin paper we get from this. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's extremely useful. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to eat these. I should have dropped those off a long time ago. I'm going to eat these too. And I'm going to eat these as well. There we are. I should now be able to pick things up. Oink. If only I could finish working on that, though. Alas, I cannot. But that, that's fine. I accept it. We. This has been a bit of a bit of a back and forth episode. I appreciate that, but I feel we've done a reasonably good job of it. We've got a couple more corpses yet to collect from there. Uh, is there anything I can drop off here? Anything I can carry with me away from here? No. That's fine, though. That's fine. We've got three, um, three graveyard certificates with them, so that's actually pretty good. All right. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to check these beets. Now, what we'll do is we'll take stock of how many beet seeds we have beforehand. 
and then we will uh, gather them up. I guess we're going to leave those there until we've got um, batteries of four, and then we can take those with us elsewhere. Now, the hemp rope, uh, well, we really want to leave it um, in the bookshelf, honestly. But, uh, right, what was the, uh, the beet seeds I did not get? Uh, right, we've got three beet seeds. Okay, so if we end up with more than 15, we know that this system works. So first, how many do we get? Four, okay. How about you? Seven, no. And, yeah, that doesn't work. Alas, it was a really cool idea, though. Thank you very much for sharing it. Uh, doesn't seem to have played out. So it was probably just random chance that you gathered more, more seeds when you uh, popped in or, or it might have just appeared like it. Maybe you got some elsewhere and you didn't, you hadn't taken note of it. Still very, very much worth for sciencing there. Right, but with that, we're gonna grab a bit of a, an early morning nap and oh my lord, my house must just smell of carrots now. Just carrots, nothing else, carrots. Ah, my goodness, let's grab all of it though. Thank you, you can come with me as well just as soon as I drop these off. I guess the milk pail can go there for now and the pigskin too. And the brain can go some. I don't know. I've, I've got so much stuff on my inventory. It's fine, though. We will make it work somehow. But that is going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. Trials and tribulations and all. And in the next, we're going to be heading back down to the dungeon proper to have a good old explore with a bajillion carrot cutlets to keep us going. Let's just hope we don't take too much damage because we don't necessarily have a way of healing yet. But that'll be for the next episode. So until then, do take care, everyone.